Hey y'all, what's going on? Hard Zog Fence here. Today I want to talk to y'all about installing two by four fence runners for your uh, standard privacy fences. Uh, there, there's there's many ways to do it. I just wanted to give y'all a, a little insight on how I do it and, and, and what works for me. Uh, well, like I say, what works for me may not work for y'all, but I was just gonna give y'all just a little bit of a tip here. Um, basically, after you get through setting your post, um, what I do is I mark 66 inches from the ground up, up, up my four by four. Sorry about that. Um, which is going to leave me six inches over the top of my two by four runner. Uh, some people like, some people like more, some people like less. I like six inches. So basically I mark up 66 inches, which is going to leave me six inches above my top runner. Now, I, when I draw that line and whenever I start installing my fence boards, I don't worry about what the two by four looks like at first yes whenever you're going down the line like this it is the two by fours some are going to be up some are going to be down some are going to be higher lower whatever don't worry about that until you get your top all of your top two by fours set now once you get all your top two by four set basically just step back look at it and, and adjust accordingly uh some may need to go higher some may need to go lower and some may not even need to move but basically what your goal is, is for your top runner to just have a smooth flow with the ground, as y'all see here. Um, you don't want some higher, you don't want some lower, because being what you're going to see on the backside is uh, some, some sections, the pickets are higher than other sections or lower than other sections. Uh, you just want that uniform, gradual flow with the ground to make it, to make it flow and look right. Um, now on the spacing part, uh, what, what I do here is, um, as you, excuse me, as you can see, 66 inches is gonna be right here. Obviously I had to make a little bit of adjustment, drop a little bit of adjustment, drop this down. Um, I mark from the top of that runner down 28 inches. That's my second line and then down to 56. So basically it's 28 and 56 all the way down on every single runner. What that's going to do is it's going to leave me a perfectly even space um, between every two by four and every single section. Um, also, as you can see, I have a little bit of four by four left at the top. I'll just take my sawzall and cut that off. And the only reason I do that is uh, because whenever I'm adjusting my two by fours, I, I want to be able to have, you know, the room there to adjust my two by four because I mean if I went ahead and just buried them all the way down to 66 inches then you're going to have some two by fours that are sticking above the four by four and I think to me that just looks tacky I don't like that but that's just me um but that's just what I want to give you a little insight on that um like I said guys this is how I do it may not work for you but this is what works for me it's been working for me for five years now um uh, like I said guys hit that like button subscribe to my channel um I'll talk to y'all soon thank y'all